Hey guys, it's Game Pass Game here, back with a new one. This time, um, it's a brand new one on Game Pass called Close to the Sun. So I, I don't know anything about this game. Um, we'll have to go have a look. I'm going to just turn down the volume. That's first things first, we always get the volume down here. So let's go into options, let's go to audio, and let's put music volume down to about four. This music volume will have to be loud, but everything else is going to be good. Okay, so that's good. I think four is good as Let's go to three. Let's go to three. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it's a brand. Uh, this is a brand new game that came out to Game Pass, uh, close to the sun. Uh, it came out just like yesterday, I think. Um, not released. It was released in, I believe, in 2019. So 2000. Yeah, yeah, 2019. Um, and it is released as an action adventure, first-person survival horror game. So it looks pretty interesting. And from the short little thing I've seen, I've just seen it come up on Game Pass and I wanted to get it quick as possible, get that review out there and just get a quick first glimpse. Um, it looked interesting, you know, I watched the little trailer. And it sounded cool, it looked cool, and I like the idea of a first person, I like, it's always cool to see a little bit of a horror game. I'll make this a quicker one than usual and we'll dive in a bit deeper if it is um, worth the play, you know. Um, but yes, like I said, it was released uh, 2019. Um, it's by, I think it's... Uh, uh, Storm in a Teacup, the developers, Storm in a Teacup, interesting name, and um, published by um, Wired Productions. So, yes, let's go. Let's check out. It is on Game Pass. Um, it is available on Game Pass. If you have Game Pass, you know, it's definitely something probably. We'll see now. Let's, that's the whole point. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. We're not keep you waiting. Let's go into a new game. Are you sure? Um, I guess so. Let's go check it out. Yeah, that's the first time I've asked. Are you sure? Sounds spooky. Nikola Tesla, an inventor, entrepreneur, and the richest man alive. His company, Wardenclyffe. Wardenclyffe pro provides wireless electricity from stations all over the globe. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's something that people are, you know, they've been talking about. Nikola Tesla and all his, I think that's a conspiracy out there now, isn't it? Nikola Tesla and all the free energy that he could, we knew about, and, he, and the world's trying to hide that from us. It's out there, you know. Ask Modric, and Modric knows. Uh, or Dre OG. <laughs> okay, so the prologue. The brilliance of Ada. Press A to begin. Okay, let's check it out. My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here, aboard the Helios, with me. I've enclosed a receiver, okay. and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. I like where it's going. It sounds pretty cool. It's interesting. Pretty light on details, Helios. sir, Ada. You leave without warning, and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? What aren't you telling me? Okay, so that's pretty cool. I mean, that looks nice. Is this in the game? Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. Look on the ship, yeah? Okay, that's spooky. Uh, leave your room, okay. Can I go through the window? Oh, no, it's just telling me what to do. Um, yeah, these usually these these games that are on, like, um, ships. I remember, what is that old game? The old horror game? I can't remember now, man. The name of that game. Um, it's not Dead Space. I always think Dead Space, not Dead Space. Anyways, uh, something dark, something like that. Check this out. What is this? Okay, press button to examine the heels. Can we zoom? Okay, fifth world wonder. Fifth wonder of the world. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool. Well, okay, so obviously it's got a bit of an element of like, you know, oh, it's nice. It's quite a nice, I must be honest, it's quite a nice little cabin. It looks pretty good. A stink water cliff guest. We will shortly be approaching the heels. For safety reasons, we ask that you enter the observation cabin located on top of the shuttle. Docking once all passengers are secured. Thank you. 
pretty sure we, we can search. Hope the docking works better than these automated announcements. Let's leave the room. Let's leave the room. Into the observation cabin and commence docking. Okay, this is really. Sp I don't know. I'm a little bit spooked out already. Even just like leave. I don't know why. Just coming out of this room. And it's got a bit of a spooky vibe to it, isn't it? Let's peep this way. We should get lean. Make a zoom. Okay, that's interesting. Can you lean? Zoom. Okay, go on lean. Make a zoom. It's cool. The movement's very slow. So. Okay, it's locked. Service is locked. That wants me to go there. The green, follow the green light! Bird, can we run? Can we run? Can we sprint? Make it. What the hell is that? Is that a jump? Okay. I wonder how you, I wonder how you can sprint. It doesn't look like you can sprint. Okay, some reading materials. Okay, so if you want Helios, it's sailed. Open ocean. British Navy in pursuit of the Helios. Okay. Looks very cool, very aesthetically pleasing. For a, um, for like an indie game, you know, I believe this is this is really cool. This is the, the Helios, the fifth one of the world. Have we seen this? Oh, Nikola Tesla there. Yeah, we can only interact with very few things at the moment. See that's locked. Okay, let's go. Let's have a quick little look. Okay, we won't we won't do the full search loot thing right now because of time restrictions. But let's go have a look what's going on here. So far, it's got a nice feeling today. What the heck is that? The Helios? There is that the Helios? I'm on the Helios. Okay, now I'm a little lost here. I need to pay paying a bit better attention there. Okay, so sound is nice. And rain. Okay, where was it supposed to go? Again? <laughs> we'll see if we can change that. Um, we can do something about that. Storm in a teacup presents. We can do something about the movement speed, maybe in settings. We'll see. We'll see if it's broken. Is that the problem? It's usually that's the problem. We're not into the problem. This is 
is quite a cool entry though, man. This is actually really cool. Definitely got my attention, yeah? Very nice. Interesting, interesting. So let's see. Close to the sun. Boom. Interesting take. I like the, the take of Nikola Tesla, energy, the fifth wonder, all these little like things, you know, getting you... Let the future tell the truth. And evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future for which I've really worked is mine. Nikola Tesla. Interesting. Chapter 1. Border of Hermes. Interesting name there. This is... Okay. That's cool. Okay, so I've just docked that. Eh? Order Helios established communication with Ada. Nice looking. Very nice looking. I just wish I could run. I can jump. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, we can run. Okay, how do I get down here? Where do I go? Oh, here we go. I thought the great Helios would be more... busy? I was thought I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. Okay, there's no time for looting, sorry. Just me usually going to do my looting here, okay? Let's climb up here. Like, like I say, it's got a different nice little... Was scary, okay? The Helios, a scientific endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Pretty straightforward. What legs? Guys, you can see your legs here. Yeah. How am I supposed to get across? Obviously, this room's got some answers to it. It's got to be a button we can press, yeah? Seems like I'll have to let myself in. Oof! <laughs> Fry, what's wrong with you? The ship rat. That's a good one, that's a good one. The ship rat, the ship rat. <laughs> it was listen, the ship rat. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Push, pull the lever! There we go. There we go. Easy like that. Easy like that. Pretty cool. Nice little intro here so far. I actually like that. Definitely a nice little intro into the game. Really, really cool. I said the spooky vibes definitely 100 percent yeah. You know, it's really got me feeling like Warden Cliff. What's happened here? A company distributing electricity to half of the world and yet still hungers for that other half. Okay, so number 40 is number 27 is in February. 22, and if you put 2 plus 3 equals 14, the green light is 15. <laughs> kidding! Kidding! I'm kidding! Cool, I like this. Jump scare time. Oof. Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! Hey, that happened in... It's... Oof. Is there light blinking? I swear this light was flashing. No, 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 maybe I'm seeing things. That's pretty cool, though. That gives you a bit of a weird quarantine. 
That's interesting. Now that's getting interesting, okay? This is a zombie type thing of what's going on, yeah. It's quite spooky, eh? I mean, look at this. The atmosphere's good. The sounds are good. The intro is nice. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of puzzle solving situation on yeah, if we get that far. Like I said, this is a game I'd like to investigate further. Immediately, you know? Yep, yeah. I'm telling you there's something special here. This whole room can't be here for no damn reason, okay? Can't be here for no damn reason, that's for sure. There we go. A special key card. Examine, okay, well it's a special name, Nicholas Ford, date of birth, 1850, country birth, USA. <laughs> Pass number. Boom, how do we get, how do we keep this? Just write that down, I mean, I can't remember that. NY50, okay, NY5515USA, NY5515USA, NY5515USA. Got it, brother. Got it, brother. Let's see if my memory serves me right, eh? let's go. Did I forget already? NY5515USA. Okay, did you get it? Let's go. Oh, it's up here. Something we gotta do here, yeah, we gotta jump over here, yeah, whatever. Oof, this is too good. Okay, cool, the, the first person view is nice. It's cool that it's got a bit of a slow. Actually, you know, I'm gonna play it as it wants it want me to play it. Um, I like the slowish. It doesn't seem like a. Uh, it seems. Yeah, this seems cool. It gives a bit more of a spooky vibe. New dimension has been mathematically proven. To find out what else is hidden. Ooh. Most advanced laboratories work in the world's most advanced laboratories. Sometimes you like you build the features. You gotta look at these things sometimes. And yeah, welcome aboard the Helios. We're going to the largest ship ever built. Remember what they said about the Titanic, you guys. Don't get over ahead of yourself, yeah. Okay, that's quiet. That's quiet. Damn it! Damn it, I walk in it. Someone got something happened, yeah. This is gonna be something, yeah. Just go here right there. Just do what they want us to do, yeah? Just do what the green light is. Do what the green light says. Follow me, bro. <laughs> this is Nikola Tesla speaking, and unless it wasn't already obvious, this ship is under strict warranty. There is to be no movement on or off the Helios. And yet, here you are. Another one of Edison's spies, I think. No matter. Movement throughout the ship has been restricted. Whether you are friend or foe, do watch your steps. Gee. Thanks for the warm welcome. Oh, thanks, bro. Now, what have you done with my sister? What have you done? Here we go, yeah, here we go, yeah. Nah, man. Come on now. Come on now. There's a green button.
spark connections. How'd I go in there? Yeah, I came from the right. Alright. I think we've seen that. Okay, I know we should be reading this stuff and this is, but we you know we just, for time, for time's sake, okay? Forgive me for time's sake. There. Then let's flow both upwards. There we go. Check that out. The way energy flows. Only up, baby. Okay, I'm gonna do this one quickly. Pull this down here. Boom. Okay. One more to go. Okay, okay, okay. What have we here? Okay, they all got those numbers, so it can't be. But anyway, it was 5515, no, NY5515 USA. So I do remember it, okay? So press this button. We can use these rooms to your advantage, eh? Yeah? Okay, one to go. Where will the other one be? Down here. Down here. This is where we just came We didn't just come from it, did we? Now to find Ada. Take a little bit of half floor Okay. But there's so much to explore, guys. I wonder if you go in those woods. It's going to be here for a reason, right? Okay, let's just stick to the story. Let's just stick to the script for a bit, okay? Before we get carried away here. Yeah. Although I really want to go check this out. I really want to go check all this out. But let's just stick to the script a bit here, okay? So, because we cut for time. Because we are cut for time, is this going to open? No, it's broken. It's broke ass. Okay, all the way back with you. I'm weak at these horror games, okay? Really. I like to play them. They're fun. But they get me, okay? And usually there's like a loading thing that comes up to show you there's like some kind of scare or something. Maybe we still see that happening. Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. What's here? We have a year. Examine. Ooh, what is this? It's so got some kind of key. A worn key card used to hit us. Okay, okay, I'll take this. I've got it. Pull the lever. Oh, there we go. What the hell? Hey! Hey! Shit! Okay, they didn't give me as much as the other one, but they got me. But not as much as the freaking door slam. Stupid little door slam gets you, eh? Simple as that. Effective gets the job done. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Really cool so far. Really captivating so far. Like I said, I'm gonna make this one a short one, guys. It's not gonna be very long, but I want to do maybe half an hour or so. Chapter 2. We're already on chapter 2. So it looks like it could be a short game. We'll have to see. I don't know. I'll do some research into that. Um, I don't know how many chapters are to it, but there is some exploring to be done. Obviously, I'm running through a bit fast in the beginning here, um, but pretty straightforward. Got some scary elements too. I don't know how scary it's going to get. Maybe a lot more scary. I don't know if you need any kind of weapon. I don't know. Let's just run into this. It's quite, it's quite nice up this fancy. Compared to the down, though, I mean, I was supposed to be in the dregs in the cabins. Let's check this out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This is lead researcher Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? I'm here. I repeat, this is lead researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. I'm here. Is anyone... Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. 
That... that doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... A Ada! Ada! Ugh, come on! That really helps. Maybe I can get a better signal with this thing somewhere up ahead. Okay, let's do it. It's quite nice. It's very nice looking. Interesting look. Interesting look. Got a lot to look at, yeah? Visually pleasing. Visually very nice. What Visually. sort of nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house? Crazy, crazy. Crazy genius, crazy, crazy. Genius. Um, but again, oh yeah, by the way, the service, service bell I like, tapped so profusely downstairs and I think, give me, give me some gamer points there, so it's little things, it's little things like those, you know? Try things, if it's there, do it. Hit that thing a few times, see what happens, you get some gamer points. One day, you know, think about later, worry about later. Okay, <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a little bit of, um, obviously if you read, take your time, this is a game you probably got to take your time and read, maybe I should slow it down here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cap it right here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe follow up on this one and be a bit more in detail, you know, just have a look at things in a bit more detail, we'll see how it goes, you know, on request as well, of course, if there's a request for it, we'll do it. My first Tesla tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a Let's resounding about. success. About. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race. It's gluttony for more, more and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. That's interesting. I like that it's got some interesting theories and conspiracies involved here. It's got an eerie vibe to realistic feeling, you know, um, kind of like that sort of, um, it's got like that Atomic Heart vibe, if you play Atomic Heart, that's another one we will get to. Got that vibe which when I discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the thing. <laughs> Blackened silhouettes on the walls, capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. <laughs> This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Damn, yeah, that's a real thing. They actually got photographs of that. People shooting X-rays, X-rays at each other, and they um, it leaves an imprint on the wall, which is actually quite scary. It leaves an imprint on the wall, like your shadow it gets imprinted on the walls behind them. You see something like that? It looks pretty freaky. Pretty freaky. It's pretty cool, eh? Look at this. The ah, the Helios. Named after the sun itself, a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific the arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within evolution. the very future of the human oh, yeah. race, and you are you know most, bunch of most freaking... welcome. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, I'm sorry to give you to like this, but I'll just give it a little bit of a vibe of what it's like. You gotta look at it. You gotta look at it. You got the entry feel to it. You can see the sort of gameplay is very really slow and search clues, read. Some jump scares for sure. This game's got jump scares in it. It's gonna get a lot of jump scares. I'm sure it's gonna get a lot. Ship full of scientists in the middle of the Interesting ocean. story. Got an awesome story. What could possibly go wrong? Really? Secret behind you. This looks something weird. This looks weird. Let's have a look. Let's have a peeps, 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 little quick look.
Very, very cool. Ooh. What the? This is really all good. Everyone's having a good time. Okay, I walk through this. Thing. It's interesting. Hello? It's a, Anyone? It's very interesting. Why is people wearing masks? Oh, it's like a mask body. It's a weird, eh? Why is always these the people, these pretentious ass people, living it up so smart and bad? What? The hell was that? Yeah, it's interesting, eh? It's an interesting take, isn't it? Right. Rose? Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Yeah, 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 let's do that. Escape from what, exactly? Yeah. It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Got all that. Yeah. Open safe, get key card, use elevator, meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Yeah. Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Yeah. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis? <gasps> even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon, sis. Safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, that must be the safe. Oh, I need the combination. Now to get it open. Where did the combination be? They said so, huh? She said somewhere here. Is this thing here? Eric. Eric! Current. Oh, there we go. One, four, two. Eric! Let's see what this does here. One. Four. What are you. Okay, okay, I see it. One. Four. Three. Three. Four. Ooh, it's the other way around. Okay, so there's one obviously here. Yeah, going out. Four. Boom. Not two, four, two. One, four, two, one. Oh, wow. Okay, it's a little, it's a little trick to it, eh? Quite tricky, eh? How can I not get this, guys? My brain just ain't working. Four. Damn it. Bingo. Bingo. A key card for the elevator. It's just quite nice, good eh? It's my nice little cabinet there. Eh? I wouldn't mind having a cabinet like that. Okay, let's go back to square. I know there's lots of really I'm missing guys, but forgive me, time constraint. Oh, let's go. <gasps> Damn it. Switch crows. All right. Hope this works. Yeah. Cool. I obviously ran. I could have done a lot more loot in there. Let's be honest. I could have done a lot more loot in there. Let's be honest.
Okay, guys, we're going to call it here. We're going to call it real soon, okay? I think we'll actually call it from here. We'll just see what the intro is, and we'll call it from here. If you guys want more, please leave a comment saying you'd like me to follow up from here. We can take it a bit slower and do a bit more search, whatever, whatever. whatever. Please leave some comments and, and let me know what you're thinking. If it was at all helpful to see this, a little bit of a deeper dive into the game. So far, you know, I give it honest truth. I think it's a good game. Um, it's very intriguing. Definitely something, it looks like it could potentially be quite short. So something nice to download. I think it was only like 15 gigs or something. Or um, So it's an easy download. And also, if it's short, you can probably get through it quite quickly. Which definitely makes it something, um, something worth having a look at. Small download, 15 gigs more or less. Shorter game, maybe you can finish it quick and get it under the belt. So you've done one of those. You know, it looks interesting, it looks spooky, it looks a bit of a horror. So, if you're into that kind of thing, a bit of a horror and a bit of a suspense thriller, not sure what's going on, it's got some nice ideas behind it. The, the, it's graphically quite nice. Um, the first person is smooth, it's just slow. Um, definitely, you know, I give it a good rating. I give it like an 8 out of 10 eh? for what, they got, what they're going for. Um, maybe, you know, it's between a 7 and an 8. Depends. On how the game will progress but so far it's leaning towards the eight more leaning towards a bit of a decent game um, a game that's worth your time maybe again maybe we'll see could be between it i'm saying seven eight seven eight seven and a half can we do that seven and a half can we do that it looks cool though it looks really cool it looks decent it looks definitely worth your time okay let's just give it an eight shame it looks like a good game they put some effort in it's got a story behind it um it's got some intrigue it looks a bit spooky for a horror game. It's, it's pretty decent, man. It's really pretty decent. I mean, I'll be honest with you. It's really pretty decent. Okay, so um, well, how about we leave it from here? And if you want me to continue and see what's done that way, uh, and you want me to just continue with this, let me know. You know, leave a comment. Leave a give you a thumbs up. Ugh, hit the subscribe. What is that smell? Think about subscribing, please. Um, it really helps out a lot. You know, if you see this video, if you watch through and you, and you want to see a lot more of these kinds of videos, let me know. It really helps a lot. But guys, thank you so much for spending this time here with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's it's uh, always fun to make these things. I know I have to unfortunately try and fit it in, show you a bit of the game. That's what we do here. We just try and see what's worth your time on Game Pass. Game Pass has been really bringing it and they're still going to bring it this month. But they got some decent games there. Recently, we've done the Far Cry 6, which is the number one game there. you got to get that game, that's for sure. And the Remnant from the Ashes is absolutely awesome, especially co-op. So let me know if any of those games that I've done, you want to see some more of it. Um, and everything that comes out from here on the Game Pass, I'll try and keep up to date with the latest ones, you know, so you just know. And we will jump back against some of the old ones to see what was worth it that's been missed. Because there's some, there's some gems in that Game Pass. And you know, you don't want to be paying this money, you know, it's, it's, it's really cheap. Game Pass is real cheap. It's really worth it. Um, but if after a couple of years, you... Did you really play much games? You weren't sure. You always were like playing this or that. Now we're showing you what games to maybe have to keep an eye on. What will be worth your time? And with those ones, you know, but that's what we do here. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic time wherever you may be. I hope your holidays were good. And oh yeah, by the way, happy happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. And I hope it's a real good year for you. I hope it'll be a blessed year for you. And remember, guys, go with the Lord. He's always good. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys.